Nearly a year ago, a group of whistleblowers went public with allegations of substandard care and treatment at the Manchester VA Medical Center. It led to firings and a task force to figure out how to better help veterans. Today, that task force is making 29 recommendations. I think it's a great first step. Uh, there's always room for improvement on anything. The report focuses on a range of advances in mental health, women's services, and drug treatment. We've made progress in ways I didn't expect. One of the whistleblowers, Dr. Ed Coyce, wishes a full-service hospital was included, but is happy with the new direction. I see this as bringing the community together to produce something that's really special for our veterans, and it was not there a year and a half ago. Some of the recommended improvements are already underway, like boosting academic affiliations and hiring additional staff. Other suggestions include creating an ambulatory surgical center, reforming leadership, and increasing services. One of the recommendations is um, creating a residential rehab treatment program for veterans suffering from, from substance abuse issues. These officials are ready to drive the change. I don't look at obstacles as something that's going to get in our way. One of the things that we've been pushing with our staff is how do we get to yes. Some of the improvements like the ambulatory center will take time, money and potentially a partnership. But the new leaders here say they're ready to take on all of it. Reporting live in Manchester, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.